Hi everyone, in this video, I'll show you how to blur the background in CapCut PC. Let's use this video as an example. To start, bring this video onto the timeline. Now, make sure you click on the video, then go to the effects tab. Click the video effect and scroll down until you find the blur effect. Click and hold, then drag it onto your video and release. Now you can see the entire video is blurred. On the right side, you can adjust the level of blur you desire. The default is 50. If you want it blurrier, drag it to 100 for maximum blur. You can also reduce the blur intensity to your preferred level. For the second step, click on Media, then click and hold the original video again and place it back on the timeline. Make sure to place it directly on top. Now let's move on to the third step, which is the final one. Click on the original video at the top, then go to the Video Cutout tab. Click to enable the auto cutout and wait for it to process. It cuts out the person from the video and removes the background. Now, let me play the video and show you what we have. Let me quickly explain how it actually works. We have two videos. The video below is actually entirely blurred. And the video on top which is the original one, the person background is removed. In this example, you might notice a slight glitch here. We can use the masking feature. Click the top video, go to Video Mask tab. And you'll see several different shape options. What we want to do with the mask feature is to cut out the person here so we don't have any glitches on the right side. So, we use a rectangular mask, adjust the frame until we only see the person. Now, if I play the video, we should no longer see any glitches. If you want to adjust the blur, simply click on the star icon. You can see the blur effect. On the right side, you can adjust the level of blur you want. And there you have it. I hope this tutorial was helpful for you. Please give this video a thumbs up, share it, and subscribe to our channel for more tutorials. Thanks for watching.